So here I am right where I started at the point of no return where I went and finished the game and then uh, found out that the game is really short. The campaign is a very, very short campaign indeed. And all your side missions you should actually try and do before you get anywhere near this point, which is what I didn't do. So what I'm going to try and do is hopefully tell you how you can not do what I did and actually enjoy the game more before you get to the end of the game and then you actually might not want to play it anymore. Uh, so here I am. I'm outside Embers. So this is where it would say point of no return. I thought it meant it's a point of no return, maybe for this part of the game, maybe for a midpoint. Surely this couldn't be the end of the game. I was wrong. Now, I did have another hour or so of gameplay after this. For me, it did feel too short and it did feel pretty unsatisfying because I had so much more to do. I was putting that on the back burner while I was getting, get, going around doing other things. And then realised what I should have done is actually gone and do loads of those side missions for all the other people I'd met in the game that I was interested in and wanted to do things for, but didn't do. So let me show you some of my progress I've made. There won't be any spoilers here, but I'm just going to show you some of the progress and things you might want to do uh, to enhance the game if you find yourself outside this nightclub and it says point of no return. Right, so here I am. Let me show you the map first. So going into the map. So... This is where that section is right here. And that's in Haywood. Now, you've got the city centre, which obviously I've been around. You can see all the things we can do here. There is plenty to do in this game. But maybe, I think maybe they should have put some of what's in the campaign, in the side missions into the campaign, because they actually apparently made the campaign shorter because some people complained that The Witcher 3 was too long and people didn't have enough time to play it. I'm a busy person. I personally like a short game, but I thought here for this kind of game, it did feel way, way too short. And I don't think a patch is going to help that. They're going to help with the performance issues, but surely they're not going to elongate the game uh, but what they might want to do is put parts of the game that are the side missions for some of the main characters into the campaign so uh, in the map here you've also got a uh, Santa Domingo been there been to Pacifica been to Wex Westbrook as well and I kind of think I've popped into Watson but wasn't there long now check this out I have not been to this part of the map yet. Haven't touched this area at all. Didn't even give me an option to or a reason to. And remember, I've actually finished the campaign already. And then here, I've actually got a house here now. Uh, and this is where Pan Am's missions took place, some of those. And then down here as well, after Pacifica, haven't been here either. Don't know what this place is. Should really go and visit it sometime. So plenty more to do that I haven't done on the map here. All of this to explore. So I do recommend you do it. And if you think you're getting towards the end, go and have a little look around, see what else there is, have a play. Now here you can see one of the things I was doing was collecting tarot cards where you scan them. There's only 20 of them around the city. It's not like Assassin's Creed where you've got millions of them to get and it feels unachievable. There's not that many of them, only 20. So certainly want to do that. There's an area you can explore them. And then they're dotted all over the city still in the map. They look like little tarot cards. So uh, yeah, there's another one. There's a couple here I could do. One right there. So I should have gone around and done all that and got some more street credit and bonuses. There's another one tucked in there. These are basically working for the NCPD. Someone calls you. They're like crimes you can you can stop. So plenty of those to do. And then all these little things here are jobs. Job after job after job after job after job. They have put a lot in here. But as I said, if you follow that main campaign, you will get to the end of the game really, really quick. Quicker than you think you should, in my humble opinion. Uh, in the top left, you can see my level. I'm only level 22, and I managed to finish the game as level 22. What they also do in this game is when you're doing jobs for people, they leave you alone for a day, and it says, oh, tomorrow, call them when they've done something. And that's giving you um, an excuse to go and 
explore some other things. But I really thought there would be some more things to explore and they might protract the game a little more before getting to the end. Uh, look at these fish up here. That's quite cool. Heading towards the, uh, the city centre. This is great. Uh, on the road, of course. Now I did... Oh, I just been run over. <laughs> Let's get up. Um, so let me show you some other things I was, I was collecting on the way to doing. 90% st street cred. Apparently I'm an edge runner. I've earned a rep in the Merc world. And I got respect in the streets. There you go. Legend status. Only a few more away. I didn't think I did that much to even get to 90%. So it doesn't take much to get um, really, really popular with your street cred. 25% here. Now this here is um, entropy. I think it's how, how you get on with Johnny. <laughs> Not very much. And here's my clock showing basically when things end for me. Uh, and then I've got, yeah, uh, level 22. So I thought about crafting and I thought, oh, I'll do some crafting later on. I'll, uh, I'll have a go at that when I get further into the game because surely the game's only just started. No, <laughs> that wasn't the case. So I never crafted a single item in the game, but I could have, certainly could have. Uh, some things are blocked because uh, I'm not there yet, but there were things I could craft down in green here. I could uh, craft some of these weapons, this shotgun here that you can do random damage with. It's pretty cool. So in fact, let's actually, let's craft it. Why not? It lets you use some of these crafting tools. Um, as I disassembled many of the weapons that I got, uh, you can craft uh, melee weapons, katanas, pipes, all kind of thing, different kinds of clothing as well. And there are also upgrades as well. So I didn't craft any of these. I didn't upgrade anything. I didn't think I'd need to yet. Certainly going to upgrade this sniper rifle that did me well. Um, so there you go. Look, I'm getting some points for crafting now, which is great. Um, and... Yeah, my inventory. So this is what I ended up looking like. Didn't wear a lot of special outfits. Didn't think I got that many clothes. I just wore what had the highest armor. There we go. Give myself some glasses. Uh, ended up with a, a pink hat with bunny ears. Very striking for the <laughs> for the end game. Uh, and then for the special, if I wanted to, I could wear this kind of as it loads it in. This suit here. Don't know why. I'm going to unequip that. Don't fancy it. I prefer my bunny ears. So, plenty to do with clothing. Didn't do. Plenty to do with crafting. Didn't do. Thought I'd have time to do it later. Uh, and then there's vehicles, of course. You can collect loads of vehicles and buy them. Now, they were really expensive, so I thought I would just be saving my money. I got to about 60,000 credits. I thought I'd need a lot more because these cars are very expensive. So, when you call your car... You can, um, yeah, you can you can call from a whole list of cars that you get. Um, I've only got, though, um, two bikes that I inherited and my car. So I didn't even pick up a single car that was part of the mission as well, thinking I could do it later on. So I've got all that to do as well. Uh, what else have I got to do? Quite a lot, I think. Looking at the journal, there's my main job. All these side jobs, some of them I was doing, some of them I was yet to do. But as you can see, rating from very high to moderate to very low uh, to moderate. You've, yeah, the loads. All these different rides I could have picked up. But you see, they're not cheap. They don't hold their value. You sell stuff, it's cheap. And then you buy stuff and it's very, very expensive. And here's what I completed. Now look at this list. Now, that looks like a lot, but it didn't feel like a job. Some of the, a lot of jobs, a lot of these felt very, very short. And this is what's left at the moment. So it really did feel like the campaign <laughs> uh, arrived far too too quickly, the end of it. The end game really did. Um, here's some food. Ate some of the food. But I ended up collecting so many stims. I've got 70 of them there. And I've got tons of grenades as well. Loads of grenades. And now I'm sort of left wandering the map. Because once I finish the game, I'm dumped back before that end mission that comprises of a few things I won't spoil. So it's not like I've come back and people are talking to me since that's happened. It takes you back before that point. So 
there's a lot of unfinished business. And then, of course, not to forget all the different people I can call. So, for instance, there was Judy. She was giving me those brain dances. We were, we were doing things. We were doing missions. Didn't get to do anything more with her. Mr. Hans had a conversation with him. El Capitan had a chat with him. Pan Am, she called me. Do you want to help me? Yeah, I said, I'll, I'll, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Later didn't happen, unfortunately, because I, I got to the end of the game <laughs> far too quickly. And as you can see, here's my unfinished business at the top here. Messages. Claire, she does races for you. I was quite enjoying the races, getting through those, didn't finish those. Uh, Delamain, who's like an automated taxi service. I was doing stuff for him as well. I had plenty more to do. So a patch is not going to fix this. The campaign is short. Don't race through it. Take your time in this game. Make sure you get on those side missions. I thought I had more time to do them. I didn't. And I got to the end far too quickly. And for me, it's kind of spoiled it because I do like to do a lot of the side missions before I finish the game. And here, I went past the point of no return, uh, which is at Embers. So don't do that. Surely they'll patch this soon for performance. But I'm sure um, DLC for this game is a way off if they do more content. So enjoy the game. Make sure you do not play it yet on an Xbox or a PlayStation. But Series S fine. Series X fine. PS5 okay. PlayStation and of course uh, uh, PC. But the base, what they're calling last gen consoles, even though the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 in my mind is still current gen. And this is what they say this game was made for are not worth playing on at the moment. So yeah, a patch will sort it out. Uh, but um, yeah, it's certainly not going to sort out the length of the main campaign. So get on there, play those side missions, do everything there else is to do, get those collectibles and have fun playing it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This channel has been on another channel for a while. It's moved, it's new on this channel. So uh, do like, do subscribe, do tell your friends. More content to come. And I will see you guys later.